The LG Wing has flown to the studio for us to check out, courtesy of Lucky Gold Star. And I gotta say, this is one of the neatest press packages I've ever received, and you'll see why in a moment. But uh, first, we'll see mention of the fact that this is the world's first 5G swivel smartphone. It honestly might be the first and the last, just depending on how well it's received. But nonetheless, I love how LG is taking risks and making smartphones fun again. Inside the box, let's just go ahead and get right into it. We're gonna find the single item that separates this press package from the many others I've seen. And that is this video brochure that LG rigged up to show you, or I should say me, the features of the wing. You can press play to watch different clips about certain features of the phone. And uh, I don't know, I just think it's cool they've managed to pack this display and everything needed to make this work in this thin brochure. It's just, I don't know, it's really neat. And I gotta tip my hat to the marketing team for what they've done here. I'm definitely gonna have to give this phone a better review now. No, I'm just kidding. Now, if we journey further to the center of the box, we'll find some more accessories. There's a stylish protective case for the wing and this case is from a company called Design Skin. So if you like what you see here, you might wanna go pick one up. Um, and last but not least, LG went ahead and included a face mask, which I could always use more of, so I appreciate that. So here we have the retail version of the LG Wing. This is what you're gonna find if you order the wing for yourself. Lifting off the top of the box, we'll find the LG Wing sitting right on top in all of its glory. <laughs> uh, right away, this phone feels pretty substantial in weight. Um, but more on that in a moment. We have a packet of paperwork and a SIM card ejector tool. And then there's some accessories like a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to USB-C adapter because there's no headphone jack in the wing. And then we have a USB-C charging cable and a quick charge 4.0 wall adapter. That is it. Now, taking a look at the wing, unwrapping it from its plastic, I gotta say the wing upon first impressions, it feels very substantial in the hands. It weighs uh, 260 grams. And while that makes it heavier than most phones, like I believe the um, iPhone 12 Pro, which I'm currently using, is almost 100 grams less, the weight of the, the LG Wing, it does pervade a sense of quality. Uh, like this phone feels very well made, and honestly, it feels very thought out. It doesn't feel like it was just slapped together last minute just for uh, marketing's sake. The defining feature, of course, is the wing action, where the main display swivels out to reveal a secondary display underneath. And what's neat here is there's a hydraulic damper to slow down its momentum. So this whole thing just opens and closes very uh, smoothly. But I gotta say, right away, there is one big downside I see with this product, and that is that it's literally geared for right-handed users. As a lefty, there's really no way to swivel this display with one hand, and that's kind of a big deal. With that said, this phone does feature a 6.8 inch main display. So, you know, it's, I would say, geared more for two hands, but, uh, at least to swivel the main display open with one hand, it's really only possible with your right hand. Now I mentioned there is no headphone jack. We do have this pop-up selfie cam, which is always fun to see, especially on a device that does so many other unusual things. Uh, there's three main camera sensors on the, on the back and they look great. They're kind of reminiscent of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And we also do have an in-display fingerprint scanner on the main display. So what does the swivel display allow you to do? So we have this basic mode, which lets you run two apps on the phone simultaneously. You get a dashboard of apps that you can customize or you can just swipe up and view the app drawer, just like as if it were in the traditional portrait mode. You can also expand one app across both displays. Uh, for example, if you're editing a photo or a video, you can have the gallery app open up at the top while you edit content on the secondary display. It doesn't work with all apps though, so only certain apps will work with this feature. But I gotta say, the coolest and probably the most practical use case might be with the gimbal mode. Uh, the secondary display, it acts as a grip and a control panel. So you can pan, you can tilt, and you can follow your subjects while holding the phone with one hand. And it keeps footage extremely smooth. And um, LG went the extra mile and included a bunch of extra features so that you can like lock onto your subject and you can minimize shakiness and blur. Uh, it's it's honestly pretty awesome. Like it doesn't feel super half-baked or anything. It actually feels like a traditional gimbal, you know? You can also capture photos with this mode. And it's worth mentioning that the wing features a 64 megapixel main camera lens. Uh, you also do get a 13 megapixel ultra wide lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera lens that features a physically rotated sensor, which is made specifically for the wings gimbal mode. So when you use the gimbal mode, you're using this special sensor and what it's doing here is it's cropping in. So the max resolution is actually only FHD, 
but this allows you to pan, tilt, and have all the other software features that LG has included here with this special gimbal mode. Now I gotta say, if we take a step back and look at the two OLED displays, um, they're not the best I've seen, but the colors are vibrant and saturated and it gets nice and bright. I think that you're gonna have a great time consuming some media on here if you're watching Netflix, the top display, browsing some apps. It's gonna be a, a good experience. Other specs include a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset, which supports 5G. It's paired with eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. So it should be able to handle gaming and multitasking just fine. There's also a 4,000 milliamp hour battery under the hood, and this phone supports wireless charging, which is always great to see, especially with a unique form factor like this. So currently, the phone is being offered on Verizon for just under $1,000. That's about $1,000 if we round up. And uh, that translates to about $42 a month for 24 months if you do financing. So it's definitely not a cheap phone by any means, but if you're swayed by the swivel or you're just looking for something new, it could be for you. Hey, that rhymed. Stay tuned for our full review. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.